Hey everybody, this is Phil Sims, and you're watching Fresh Cookies. What's going on, everyone? Want to welcome our very next guest, hopefully not our last guest, but the reigning New Jersey Gatorade Player of the Year quarterback, Miles O'Neal. Let's give it up for him. What's going on, Miles? <laughs> Nothing much. I'm doing well. How are you? Can't, can't complain, man. Can't complain. Uh, I recently just saw you for signing day. Once again, c congratulations. You're going to Thank Texas A&M. How does that feel? Yes, man, I can't wait to get down there. I'm, I'm, every day I'm just counting down, working working really hard in the offseason, throwing the ball every day, lifting every day, just preparing for the day that I go down. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, this was your first season in New Jersey. Mm. Um, I know you. And I saw some debates on that, but no doubt you were, you know, top quarterback talent in the state and you're recognized as so just to kind of go over some of your um some of your stats here in your lone <laughs> season at the Hun School in New Jersey, uh straight powerhouse. You played with a lot of good guys as well on both sides of the ball, but he led the Raiders to an eight one record, two thousand one hundred and fifty one passing yards, twenty TDs, and he also becomes the first player from the hunt school to win the Gatorade player of the year. So shout out to you. And uh, for those who don't know a Massachusetts native. So for once I'm yep. not outnumbered <laughs> yep. uh, for my, for my yep. Patriots love on my own show. Imagine that. Sure. Yep. All right. Uh, so we got a couple questions for you, but first of all, mm -hmm. uh, we can't bury the lead. Tell me, man, you won Gatorade player of the year. How does that feel? It was an unreal feeling, honestly. Uh, just woke up one morning and saw it and my heart kind of dropped, you know, pure excitement. Um, you know, I've been, I've been seeing that ever since I've been growing up, you know, knowing how big of an accomplishment it is and to actually win it was, it was pretty surreal. Yeah. Well, what was, what was the reception? Like, uh, like I said, I know, I know you, uh, you went to high school back, back in Massachusetts and you made a lot of friends here quickly in New Jersey, just talking about the, uh, the outreach and, uh, what were some of the surprises? for you like coming down to new jersey what were the surprises no 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 after you won gatorade player oh, of the year, like people reaching out to you and whatnot was there anybody that kind of shocked you anything like that uh i mean johnny manzel reached out to me that was pretty cool um i saw that congrats that was pretty yeah sick. yeah um but no nah, no one really crazy reached out but it was cool <laughs> yeah for sure i'm actually gonna pull that up real fast um yeah see where we can yeah, so for those who can't see it, right there in the top right corner, uh, Johnny Manziel, obviously uh, another great Texas A&M Aggie that You lose me for a sec. I did lose you. For oh, a okay, yeah. my fault. My fault, man. No worries. Yeah. So another great, uh, like I said, Aggie. Um, tell me, man, did you grow up a Johnny Manziel fan? <laughs> I did. Yeah, I was growing up. Uh, I was probably not probably ten or like younger than that. Probably when it was going on. So I was a huge college football fan. And just you know, obviously he was a legend. So it was pretty cool to watch it. Now that I'm actually playing for A and M is pretty cool have you gotten a chance to meet him or was that just a twitter interaction i've not met him yet no Hopefully okay soon all right yeah. um do you have any well uh when when do you actually head down to a&m uh may 28th i move in okay how many visits yeah. have you had uh had there so far have you gotten a, like a chance to uh you know to kind of get a feel for college station yeah, I've gone down uh, like four times. Two of the times were official visits. One was uh, in June, and then my other official visit was when Coach Elko got hired in uh, like December. So, you know, every time I go down there, just it feels like home, and I love every I love it every time I go down there. And um, yeah, it just it's, it's a crazy place, special. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, I know a couple buddies that uh, they'll go down there at least for one game. Uh, my buddy went down there when they beat Bama. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was yeah. insane. Um, yeah. 
guess and I know crazy. they yeah no for sure and I know they just had um you know some coaching changes and things like that um just kind of talk about that Did, were, were you kind of not nervous but were you kind of considering like maybe I might have to think of another school did it kind of affect your decision making process at all with the turnover this year I mean deep down in my heart I knew it was, I was always locked in with AM. you know that's where I wanted to be but uh when coach Jim coach Fisher got fired um, I was told by the offensive coordinator to, you know, explore my options because you never know what's going to happen. So I definitely explored my options a little bit. But um, when Coach Elko got hired, I was I was very excited with that hire. Talked to him right away, and I was I knew I was back locked in with a And M. So nothing really, nothing too crazy. Just just in case something happened, but I was locked in since the beginning. Yeah, have you gotten a chance to talk to any any of your uh, future teammates so far? Interact with any of them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. When I'm on my visits, too, uh, met most of the guys that in the 24 class. So they're all super good guys, super super nice, and can't wait to play with them. Yeah, any uh, skill guys you think we should be kind of on alert for? Um, I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Terry Busi, if he signs tomorrow, um, he's signing tomorrow. Um, but besides him, I mean, the list goes on. There's a kid named Isaiah Williams who's really good. He was committed to Florida. He flipped A&M. Um, the list goes on, really. Lyman, Ashton Funk, that's going to be my roommate. He's going to be super good. So, yeah, just a bunch of guys. Dope, man. Uh, did you get to go down for any good games this past season? I went down to the Mississippi State game. Uh, mm-hmm. They won, like – 41 to 7 I think the score was. So yeah, it was it was a pretty good game, night game. The atmosphere was absolutely crazy. Nothing like I've ever seen before. So, yeah, definitely definitely was a good game. Yeah, man, I'm excited to go see what you do in the SEC. Um, you know, mm-hmm. you're going to be going down to Texas, a whole different type of feel, but you know, you're no stranger to that. And I'm just going to segue into my next question. You know, what was it like, uh, you know, not only switching to play football from, uh, you know, in Massachusetts to New Jersey, but just the lifestyle in general. Just talk about that that move for you and your family coming down here to the Princeton area. Yeah, well, I lived in Marlette, Massachusetts. um, And then, you know, kind of my senior year, I wanted to go play for, you know, a coach that had experience putting putting high school players into college. So I, I chose to hunt school, and uh, I knew that meant moving away from home. Uh, I knew that was going to be a little tough for me because I've never lived away from home. But the transition was super easy, honestly. It was much easier than I expected. Everyone here was just really welcoming, supporting, and it was just way easier than I expected. And, um, yeah, couldn't couldn't have been a better year for me. Um, best decision I've made in my far, in my life this far. Yeah, for sure. And uh, shout out to Coach Smith. I mean, he he's mm-hmm. got so many guys at the next level, and you, yep. you don't you, you don't even know that they're all from the same school. Oh yeah. But um, yeah. what what's something that kind of caught you off guard moving to New Jersey? Whether that be uh, maybe food or people, what's something that you that uh, kind of caught you by surprise living here? Uh, the people are super nice. Honestly, I kind of heard some bad things about about the people, whether or not they're going to be nice. But uh, yeah, no. They're all just super good guys. Um, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And I just, uh, I was back in Massachusetts this past December and my buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my buddy of mine, he went. It was his first uh, time. So, um, yeah, he, he didn't know what to expect, but he had a great yeah. time. I told him, man, I'm like, it's the sports city. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so I know you're a Pats fan, and by default, so I mean, how do you not say your favorite player uh, is Brady? But I just want to know, uh, you know, what's kind of uh, what's kind of some of your thoughts on you know this new regime? No, no, Coach Belichick, probably the first time oh. in your in your life that uh, they're gonna have a new head coach. I'm nervous, honestly. I can't lie. Um, it was sad to see Coach Belichick go, I and mean, he was literally my whole childhood, him and Tom Brady. But now uh, the era came to an end, and it's time to look forward to uh, and see what's going to happen with them. They got to make some changes this off season, no doubt. Got to go get a quarterback, I think, in the drafts. Definitely need some more receivers too. But I'm excited to see what they can do this off season. 
yeah, you think it's more beneficial for them to draft a rookie quarterback or go after a vet and kind of draft uh, maybe a, a Harrison Jr. If the, if I'm, the I'm definitely not there. definitely not opposed to going to go get Marvin Harrison and trying to sign like you know Justin Fields maybe if the Bears take a quarterback, but no, definitely not opposed to taking Marvin Harrison. I think he's a special talent. So yeah, for sure. Uh, now in terms of what they did this year, uh, I know like they had Mac and then Zappy. What type thing? Uh, you know, uh, wh- what do you think? Um, you know, the the situation kind of was there. What do you do? You think they handled it right? Or yeah, I mean, I don't think the coach coaches had much much else to do. I think they probably made the best decision they could. Uh, Mac Jones obviously wasn't playing the best, so they had to make a change. And yeah, so I, I agree with coach, what Coach Belichick was doing for sure. Yeah, do you think he'll get another job, or do you think uh, that might be it? I, I'm surprised nobody's biting on him. I uh, know. I thought maybe Atlanta or some something like that was going to bite him, but now I don't really see him going to college. I see some rumors of him going to college, but I mean, we'll see. He's kind of what is he? Seventy three, I think he is. So. Yeah, I believe he he's the, yeah, I think he's the second oldest right behind uh P. Carroll. Yeah, P. Carroll is old too. Yeah. So, like I said, I know you're gonna say Brady's your favorite quarterback. How could <laughs> yeah. you not? And I gotta ask, yeah. what playing Pop Warner and everything in mass, I mean, I gotta imagine that's the first number off the board uh with, with every team. Twelve oh, yeah. gotta be gone. Oh yeah, that was my number. Yep. <laughs> that's yep. awesome, man. So yeah. besides besides Brady, who do you think your favorite Patriot was in, in your lifetime? My favorite Patriot was besides him, either got to be Rob Rob Gronkowski or Julian Edelman. Uh, pretty tough to choose between them, but definitely those two right there. They were unbelievable. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. I was a Vince Wilfork yeah. guy my entire childhood. Yeah. So I, yeah. I liked Wes Welker too until he left us for the Broncos, but that was a disappointment. Yeah, I heard there was there was rumblings when the season ended, like uh, because he's a he's a receiver coach for Miami. They're like, yeah, you know, can they possibly bring him back to New England? But I think mm. I don't think that's gonna happen now. Yeah, probably um, not. Yeah, no. Um, and then overall, just in general, who do you think your favorite player was outside of Brady? Uh, you know, any any player? I mean, overall, right now, I'd say it's Patrick Mahomes. He's just so incredible i mean people like to hate on him but i just watching him play is just unreal like the way he senses the pocket and the way he can throw the ball he can run it too i mean he's so good it's crazy yeah do you you, and it's interesting you say that um because i Mm -hmm. i like i like patrick mahomes as well it's always everything else around him that makes it. Yeah. Uh, there's so much. It's either his brother's yeah. doing something, his dad, and then, you know, the, yeah. the Travis Kelsey. Uh, mm-hmm. And they just, they got a lot of press this year, uh, more yeah. than recent years. So I think they're an easy target. So I always kind of feel bad for him because he's so good. Yeah. And I too. feel like every, all this other stuff just completely outshines his game. And I, agree. Uh, I like to think he's like the Steph Curry of basketball. <laughs> a um, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's just the vibe that he gives off. Where it's like, yeah. how it's like impossible to kill this guy, and then he's like super cool yeah. afterwards. So like you can't yeah. you can't really hate him. Um, yep. Yeah. No. So we won't keep you that much longer. But uh, you know, what are you most excited for? Looking forward to SEC football and uh, going to Texas A and M. Uh, I'm ex- I mean, I'm excited to compete against the best. You know, every day in practice, going in in the games against the other SEC teams. Um, I'm excited to play for the atmosphere at Kyle Field, play for the fans, play for College Station. Um, you know, I'm overall just excited to go to college too, you know. And, oh, yeah, man. And play, play the sport that I love to do most, so can't wait for it. Yeah, and, you know, um, everything's so much different now too. No um, doubt. Yeah, what, what year were you born in? 2005. Jeez, man! You yeah. weren't—you didn't even see the Red Sox break the curse. That was a whole <laughs> no, thing. I did not. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. But you saw—you saw a bunch of other uh, World Series that I uh, did. Yankee fans that uh, a lot of them still haven't seen. But um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, with the transfer portal thing, uh, it's really tough now. It, it, it's mm. so easy to transfer and stuff, and there's talks. You know, it kind of kills tradition and stuff. So I feel like the institution you chose tradition yeah. is so big um so hopefully 
Um, you know, we get to see you have an illustrious career there. And, um, yes, you know what I'm saying? We, we just want to see yes, you pull out. So um, yes, before you go, I already kind of get a sense we're going to go with this. But uh, mm -hmm. I got to ask, you know, where are you going with the Super Bowl? What do you think? Uh, and do you think it's going to be close? In my opinion, I've been saying this the whole playoffs. You can't bet against Patrick Mahomes. That's what I always tell my dad. My dad picks the other team. like, can't bet against Patrick Mahomes, dad, I'm telling you. And he pulls it out every time. So I'm going with Patrick Mahomes for sure. And I think it will probably be a good game. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a couple, uh, we got a couple of New Jersey guys going in Isaiah Pacheco for the yep. Chiefs and uh, Jair yep. Brown. So we'll mm -hmm. see if, we'll see if they meet. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. Well, Miles, I really appreciate you coming on, bro. Um, of course. Yeah, and everyone, you just you. keep an eye on this dude. Uh, yeah, of course, man. Uh, not only a great kid, but great quarterback. Uh, you know, six foot five, long. You know, what I'm saying long limbs, accurate, and like I said, overall, just a great young man. So any coach would be lucky to have this kid. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely, Miles. Take care. Thank you for joining us. You too. All right, bro.